And there it is, right where you led me. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. The HRAs, then Dylan. Very so wildly. What's the connection? I had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six. Codename P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. 
It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. It's ridiculous. Hope's grasping at straws. Why? If This is a frequency. Then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter human physiology? It would explain the hair law. Think about it. The precision that would require is a... Now he has followed you in, right? So he's here to analyze something as complex as this. Hello again. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was is a colleague of mine, a researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Black Rock? The Bureau has used Black Rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow, I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arisha's making real progress around here. 
Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. They're here, alive, thanks to you. We never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. sense. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable, unknowable, something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful. Dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions.
that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. Someone needs help over there. Sounds like there's a man down.
I'm here. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I... Oh! Ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Oh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Roop can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold. <laughs>